Welcome back to another project video featuring the new Bantam Tools desktop CNC milling machine. In this project, we'll be making a synthesizer and sequencer based around the Adafruit Feather. This simple instrument can be updated and modified using the Arduino IDE, and we hope will serve as the basis for future music projects from Bantam Tools. But most importantly, this project showcases the multi-material capabilities of the machine, as well as the built-in SVG support used to create the faceplate and the Eagle integration used to mill the PCB. Let's dive in. The sequencer is made up of three main components or assemblies. There's a base, which is machined out of walnut, but you can use any hardwood, the PCB breakout board, and the faceplate milled from anodized aluminum. In the first operation, we'll fixture our stock with the included toe clamps and rough out the part. We've aligned the model to the top edge of the stock in Fusion, and in this roughing operation, we'll machine below the model surface. Then we can clean up the walls with a few contour passes and swap out tooling for a 1 16th inch end mill to create a few dog bones so the PCB can fit into these corners. Now all that's left is to flip the part and machine away the hat. We finished this with a little oil and we're looking pretty good. Next up is our faceplate. Instead of jumping into Fusion for these cutouts and engravings, we'll rely completely on the built-in SVG support in the Bantam Tools software. We just need to color encode our file in order for the software to read the internal and external cutouts as well as the engravings. Remember that the speeds and feeds for SVG files can be adjusted in our tool library. While you can't use the conductive probing for this part because it's anodized, you can still reliably locate the material using our manual probing process. The mill will pause and ask you to swap tools as you move from engravings to cutouts. Last up is the PCB. In our latest software update, we now support an integration with Eagle, so milling a PCB doesn't require any outside CAM processor. Just load your .brd file and the software will walk you through the top and bottom traces. The spoil board and bracket you see here make the PCB milling process even easier. Probe the bracket, align the PCB to the left side for the top traces, and then flip and align to the right side of the bracket for the bottom traces. And in well under an hour of machining, we have a custom enclosure for our synth. Thanks for watching, happy milling, and if you have an electronics project, stomp box, or enclosure that you would like to see made, leave us a note in the comments.